What's going on YouTube? ZX Predator here. Me and my brother-in-law are going to be swapping something out. Now, pardon the dog hair because Ace is shedding like crazy today. But um, I'm going to do like a little cosmetic change. So check this out. So shout out to T-Rex. Um, I am actually swapping my frame sliders. I put some gloss on it because um, I got them uh, a, little, a little dry. But these... Um, right here the frame sliders that came with the bike the reason why i am changing it is because m m uh, when i went down uh shout out to mike f and um power sports Matuchin. they were the ones that got their hands on zeus went through insurance and everything and the frame slider that was this it protected the bike but not enough to the point where like for instance i had the pulsar cover actually pop and that uh you know i know that they also sell um the cages that you could cover like um engine cases to to cover that stuff but you know i i like the look of, the, of those uh frame sliders so i'm not gonna go into too much depth my brother-in-law is helping me with this one but he is usually whenever i'm doing this stuff you know, I try to make sure that he's around because now that he has the CBR, you know, we're, we're going to work together in tandem, as you know. But we're going to get this out. Literally, what is the size of this one? Because you're going to need a 516 here and an extender. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to time lapse it. We're just going to do a before and after. So we're going to get on it, folks. And we'll be back. I think we'll do one side first. See how it looks. Just like I did with the windlets and all that good stuff. So, but, uh, okay. No game to the side of Okay. I don't know. We're going to get started, folks. So this one. Let's see. This one's coming out. I'm going to get that sucker. Out there. Uh, gone? Uh, the, oh, gone? Um, the gun. Ok Mais une pièce comme ça, on peut te faire manuel Si, on peut tomber Tu tombes là-dedans Oh, ça a un sac derrière Oh, damn, so there was a retainer bolt that fell so we'll, we'll get it Alright, little Frago Had to open up the garage Brother-in-law went to get the lights So uh, So here's the original slider no. yeah so it doesn't it, it was just a washer it had in there engine frame yeah so yeah it's to the frame spray so yeah and then we need the wd-40 and then what else uh new pocket thread uh, thread a locker yeah i think uh loctite i'm gonna see if we can yeah that was hard to get off actually so yeah this should be yeah i think we're probably gonna end up getting thread locker but yeah no I, I, i'm quite a feeny mm -hmm. but that that's fine yeah we'll, 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 Oh, we do have. All right, bet. So now, from what I saw on the left side, you want you want the uh, yeah the left side you want the bolt or the the bolt extension going to the rear of the bike. So this is left, and the other one is right. So just to orient you a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this really short. But yeah, that bolt was long. And the bolts provided here. Which has me... Hmm. Different style. So I'm assuming that's why it's like that. So, alright. We're going to keep keep moving forward. So, we, uh, we successfully took out the... Mm-hmm. We're not making... Mm. 
yeah so oh those are removable so if i'm doing like removing the frame or, or fairings or whatnot like that's just a head those uh from t-rexes are pretty cool like that um uh, we're actually trying to find washers because i didn't get any but because i'm giving this to my buddy enzo um mike's bro i want to make sure i'm not taking pieces because that ball is really long Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it, this is what they call a modular, a modular system. You can break it down by pieces, and this is one side up. So what we did, yeah, it's to the actual frame, uh, frame here. So we're looking through. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some washers here. But right. you see, my brother-in-law is a saving grace, man. Let me tell you, I love this guy to death. So oh, like in uh, we're working through it. It's a little easier. Matter of fact, the way that don't worry about guy. You see here, when you put it in, it actually is going to go into the crevice, and it locks in, right? And then this little crease right here, it actually sits right on it. You know, so this one has to be straight. Yeah. Okay, so we have to disassemble this. All right, so we're gonna take that off. That, that that's a good piece to. Um, oh, we dropped it. But yeah, that's a good uh, piece of info to have because I don't see installation videos on it. But just yeah, we could take this off, so we have enough room to get in here and put it in. All right, folks. So we ran into a little issue. Now, when bolting that down, um. There was a little bit too, of too much play, so the washers um, weren't thick enough. So we're running to Home Depot, or, or like, actually we're running to Lowe's, and we're gonna get some thicker spacers. Cause uh, if you see here, see that spacer and that washer right here. Um, it works for this system so this is what Enzo is getting you know the complete system but here this needs a uh, proper spacing so uh, we're gonna take care of some business uh, yeah running out to Lowe's right quick and we'll be back for the second part but uh, yeah I thought it was gonna be a one two three thing but I should have inventoried everything I got the bolts and stuff but not the spacers needed um, it's, I, I don't know if it was a cut thing, whatnot, but uh, we shall see. Be back. All right, so here I have Lowe's trying to find this thing. Yeah, so so now we found this that I actually go in there, but we just need a, like a bag or something. So, all right, all right, folks, we are back. Uh, we had to go get the washers from uh so uh if what's the size key size size this was the m 110 it, it the m uh 10 1.25 uh metrics so uh if i don't forget i'll put it in the description but you what you gotta get is like the spacers to put in the bolt here and then the washer on the inside so that they'll have that nice tug now what we were doing my brother-in-law discovered that when we had it in the bike it was still a little bit of play so we had to get washers and the spacers to to do it right but you know just so that to avoid a bunch of <laughs> certain questions I, I think some of the videos i have to now go into like a little more detail to kind of just answer some of those questions so that if you undertake this project you can go in there and handle business so we're gonna get this in there like i said try not to do i'm not doing time lapse just showing you the steps of where we're at all right so we had to put some washers you know just because for me i just wanted everything a little snug mainly but um yeah we got that part in there so you see, if you look at that, we had to get proper spacing. 
And then, you know, my brother-in-law also said that if you want to um, reinforce it, if you get a longer bolt to go through and then you can get like a retainer in the back, he'll get that squared away. But yeah, we're working with limited light, but uh, that one's in there. So, so that side is in and again this is where I had to put like my covers and what have you because no more of uh, paying for fairings special edition that costs like 3500 when the bike got fixed with the insurance so I'm not doing, doing that again but looking at the profile so here are the T-Rexes and here's the Shogun on the other side if you look at the profile that comes out at least like an inch and a half as opposed to here low profile you know maybe that might have saved my fairings when I went down but we're gonna go ahead and knock out this side and show you the finished product to the other side okay so yeah get one washer on the outside one on the inside we're gonna get that in there And literally, it'll go right into place. And we'll be back. Okay. And oh, that's for that piece. That's for two. Okay. And with that, voila. As you see, Fini finished. So sliders are on. It looks much better. It kind of goes with the theme. So these are the Shogun ones that came with the bike. Um, I'm gonna take care of Enzo with these. So, yes. And of course, they got the Ninja, the Ninja logo on there. You know, so this one still, um, this one came, it's a little tighter. So I think because of what happened when I had gone down, I'm gonna check the threads on here but so far so good no mm -hmm. so so far so good I want to thank my brother-in-law he is the man always looking out for me hooking me up and you know he's my my backup when it comes to these but on the next video we're gonna be taking care of this bad boy you know we, we, we had to do some battery work but it's all up and running it's all good so actually, with the 360 camera, we're gonna do some training because we're gonna make sure we get his endorsement squared away and make sure we're doing this right. So without further ado, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, my brother-in-law is the man. He's what a brother should be, you know, but it's looking good, looking good. So we're gonna get in there, tighten some stuff up, but yeah. You can purchase these on the T-Rex website. Make sure you check them out. And uh, we are done. I do know that they do have sliders for the, the, the front wheel uh, and uh, on the sides, you know. But there's just a couple of things to check out and mess around with. So, the man that met the ZX Predator and brother-in-law, we are out. Thank you all for watching. Okay, folks, um, this is post credit stuff. My brother in law and I discovered something. Now, we had to pull this out because when we put it in, it wasn't, it was kind of rocking back and forth. Come to find that it looks like the threads on the inside started to, to go. I'm not sure where that occurred because the showguns were in the bike. 
and the last time, you know, probably after the whole insurance thing, you know, fixed it, um, you know, it, it's, n I'm just not sure. The other side, like, when you got it here, see, it's not moving. The other side was just, like, kind of going back and forth. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Lowe's and get a longer bolt. Oh, dropping stuff. A longer bolt and put a nut behind it. And uh, try to secure it a little more. And once we get rid of that play, then, uh, you know, again, it was fine. But, you know, I don't want anything shaking or vibrating or whatnot. It can shake things loose. So, uh, my brother-in-law, I listened to him. He's a master mechanic when he was still in service. So, just making sure everything is good to go. What's the price of safety? It, it, you know, your life. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to make sure all is good. Um, not, not, not any major issue. We're just going to get a longer bolt. And then the nut... The washer on the inside so we can take care of business so uh, you know go the extra right, mile. last piece of it so we went and got a long uh, and oh, took the fairing off and then we're putting a um uh, fastener in there now it's not shaking anymore that's it I mean, yeah so it looks like we had some something stripped in there so we're just doing the final pieces, but literally it's all good now. Knocking things out. Again, my right hand man here. So um, just to avoid too many questions. What what method I have Okay, so yeah, I said um, we're gonna kinda do the side thing. So I'm eliminating the Allen key because it was too short. And that bolt, it is an M M10. X 1.25 uh, bolt and we got it a little bit longer we removed the Allen because you know we went to Harbor Freight uh, Lowe's Home Depot AutoZone nobody had it like that was just like some specialty thing but we're wrapping up here um, you know strip bolts kind of suck folks so again my brother-in-law is the, is, the, is the man so I trust him you know, I, I do some of the, most of the work, and while he was away on duty, I had to do trial and error. But with him, margin of error is uh, virtually eliminated. But we're handling business, folks. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all later. Peace.